This video shows troops of the Ukrainian 3rd Assault Brigade. The battle was near the trenches where the Russian troops were hiding. They saw a group of Russian soldiers and opened fire while artillery fell around them. The rest of the video shows a more fierce fight between the two. The images show Ukrainian troops attacking a group of Russian troops first. Several Russian troops who fled were also destroyed by Ukrainian troops. In time, a Ukrainian kamikaze drone also hit a Russian troop truck in a huge explosion. This footage was released by the 15th Mobile Border Detachment of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and shows the vehicle bursting into flames as Ukrainian troops attack. Images show the impact of a Ukrainian troop kamikaze drone causing a spectacular explosion on a Russian troop truck. Ukrainian kamikaze drones also destroyed a convoy of troop vehicles Russians as they passed through southern Ukraine. This footage was released by the 79th Air Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Soldiers of the Special Operations Forces of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in Bakhmut, Donetsk region, have disabled the Russian invaders' electronic warfare tools. The Special Operations Forces Command reported this on Facebook and posted a video, Ukrainform reported, the enemy is actively using electronic warfare tools on the front line. Fenders of Ukraine know how to counter it. Operators of the 8th Regiment of Special Forces found an antenna that the enemy was using as a device directed energy electronic warfare. They disable it with the help of attack drones. Fast drill. 1.15 million dollar worth of enemy equipment was damaged by FPV drones in the direction of Bakhmut. As Ukrainform previously reported, special forces of the cybersecurity department of the Ukrainian Security Service showed how they destroyed five of the latest video surveillance systems and one Russian Pol-21 electronic warfare system using attack drones. After the Ukrainian armed forces broke through the so-called Surovikin line, Russia, instead of escaping from a disadvantageous position, instead plugged almost every gap in human resources. This also slowed down the Ukrainian armed forces and made some estimates irrelevant. Ukrainian forces carried out a series of offensive operations and built bridgeheads on the east bank of the river. The two main areas of clashes occurred near the Antonivsky Bridge, where Ukrainian forces built a strong base and began an offensive against Oleshki and near Kozachi Lahiri, where Ukrainian forces mounted a prolonged offensive on the village and captured a Russian battalion commander. Today's attack was even more powerful and resulted in the liberation of two villages in one day. However, the role that determines the success of this operation is planning and preparation. First of all, Ukraine needs to expel the Russians from the island in front of Pridniprovsk. Since Russia stopped attacking Ukrainian bridgeheads under the Antonivsky Bridge after a disastrous counterattack, Ukraine gained more freedom of movement on the islands and began expanding control over the region. This newly acquired territory allowed Ukraine to engage Russian forces on the islands and begin pushing them away from the outer edges. When Ukrainian troops started carrying out raids on Oleshki, Russia became too worried about the stability of this region which is why Russian troops on the island began to suffer and gradually withdrew. When Ukrainian forces detected that Russian control of the region was weak, they launched the second phase of the operation Concentrated Artillery and Drone Strikes. Ukrainian fighters have released dozens of geolocated videos of attacks over the past week, and based on available information, one of the main targets of Ukrainian forces is an observation post.